Hey guys, there's not going to be a tarot reading for this video if that's what you came for. I'm so very sorry. We're going to try again <laughs> for Friday's video. Um, I'm recording this late Tuesday night and when I have headaches, it's kind of like psychic kryptonite for me. And so I definitely cannot do like a psychic tarot reading right now. It's not too bad. It's going to, when I do my things, like it, it's going to be fine like tonight after I sleep. Um, but yeah, I usually just can't really be into screens too much. <clears throat> and so, yeah, but this also helps. I don't know, but this is the Mars square Neptune. So I knew I was going to be tired. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> instead, I, that's another thing. Like if I'm like too toasty, I always try to, um, for instance, schedule all of the psychic tarot readings like earlier in the day, like on what I call fresh energy. So like, I just know, like I would not be able to do like a tarot reading you know, psychic tarot reading right now. I don't know what it is. It like scrambles the signal or doesn't allow it to get in. I'm not sure. With Matt Frazier, he's a psychic medium. For him, his is um, like allergies. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. So what I thought that we could do instead is, um, oh, wow, that's not working now. Okay, so I was going to show you guys the chart this chart of the eclipse, but I guess this is not working and we clearly don't have time to figure it all out. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about this solar eclipse. Like we're, we're already in it, but we're going to be like very much in it the 25th of October. This full moon has to play out. You know, the Mercury shadow has to end. So all of this is going to be a totally different vibe come like that last full week of October. So here's the funny thing is that I was looking at the solar eclipse in Scorpio, partial penumbral solar eclipse. Let me just see if this is gonna work. Still not, still not working, sorry. <sighs> okay. So it's going to be like a one, two, three degrees Scorpio, something like that. And I told, I was kind of freaking out because this is gonna square my natal moon. At three degrees of Aquarius so I was a little bit like hmm hmm but then I remembered that because I've just been thinking about like 2005 like the last time we had the eclipses um, here but you can also look at 2014 I totally forgot about that so the nodes they have their cycles but then they have like half of the cycle where the nodes are and it's the whole thing's flipped so um, you can actually think back to um, October 2014, that's when we had a solar eclipse at zero degrees of Scorpio. So here's the thing. It's probably going to be good. It's probably going to be really good, but it's still going to be a little bit crunchy. And I'll explain an example so that it's not like scary. So for instance, so that eclipse also squared my natal moon and Mercury in the sign of Aquarius. So if any of you guys have anything, especially in the earlier degrees of the fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, you are also going to be very, 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 very consequentially heavily affected by this partial penumbral solar eclipse, October the 25th in Scorpio. So what it was back then because it looks like some kind of crisis or something. Like it just looks really intense. Here's the funny thing is that the solar eclipse was at zero degrees of Scorpio in October 2014. In May 2014, they started principal photography on a Batman v Superman. Oh, I thought it was reversed. I thought it was Superman v. No, it's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And they also, they filmed in Detroit. They filmed in New Mexico. They filmed in Illinois. And so the eclipse was that October and May is when it started. I was actually cast and I filmed on Superman, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice that winter. I forgot like what month it was specifically, but I remember it was, it was winter. And so <laughs> that's like the, so that's like a very fifth house solar eclipse because this is going to be in my fifth house, 11th house axis. So that's like a positive thing, but here's, it's it's still squared my moon that day of filming i woke up in body hives i actually broke a fever that it was a night shoot it was a night shoot so that morning i just woke up drenched in my own sweat and i my whole body i had like a whole fever and the fever broke and it was just my whole 
I had blotches all over my body, like blotchy red skin. And then I had all these little, I don't know, like these little pus filled thingies, like just like heat stroke or something like all over. I was a, I was a, I was a mess. Like we were, we were struggling. <laughs> we were having some issues. We were having a zero degree solar eclipse in Scorpio squaring our natal moon in Aquarius mess happening um in my in my apartment and so i basically um nursed myself back to health and i don't know like the, i don't know like but i showed i pulled it all together and i showed up on set did a great job had a great time like everything was fine is that okay just really quickly zack snyder such a sweetheart like it was such a great shoot like it was honestly it was so much fun it was a lot of fun and it was great and I was awake. It was like everything was fine. Everything went well and it was like a really great time. But I did have some kind of like, I don't know, like some kind of psychosomatic freak out. And then actually, I'm just remembering this. I ran into an actor friend of mine on on set. I was getting ready. I was going through like all the hair. I remember the costume designer, but I ran into my friend at that stage and, and so that was really that was really fun um so you know just when these eclipses roll through like we're going to be in that eclipse window um from the 25th like going into november i just want you guys to remember that it's remember that story that it could be really like a freak out moment but then there can also be like really great things that happen um that this brings as well so you know you can also think back to what did I say? I think that was October 2014. So the eclipse was October 14. That was a solar eclipse at zero degrees of Scorpio. And that was an effect of six months. So I auditioned, got seen, callbacks, booked it, got approved. Because, you know, it's like they you go and you have to get approved by a lot of different people. It's not just like the director loves you. I've had that. Guys, that's so common. Like, well, the director, like, freaking loves me, but, like, some, some, some dudes, like, no. So, anyway, um, that was a solar eclipse in October 2014, and, but I did all of that and shot it in the can, everything within that six-month period. So, um, you can also think back to a lunar eclipse that happened at, like, four degrees Scorpio in, that one was April 2005, so that was what I was looking at, you know, before, um, and... And yeah, so that's that's basically what I have for you guys. Um, I'm sorry that there's no tarot. I know you guys want want the tarot readings. Sorry, but I, I I don't. You guys know me. I don't I don't really call it in. I don't fake it. That's not the vibe. That's not my style. It has to be real. It has to be actual. It has to be, um, you know, like that's what makes it fun. <laughs> okay, so. Um, thank you guys for bearing with me. I really appreciate it. I love you guys immensely. Take very good care. Make sure to check out the wholesome occultist. Make sure to check out the wholesome occultist.com. We are extending to Friday the 14th so you can order your Halloween box to have it by Halloween. Um, pretty great of an item to have for the spooky season, but especially because the eclipses are in Scorpio and Taurus this year. So even even more awesomer. Okay, guys, I love you guys. Take care. And until next time, many beautiful blessings upon all of the beautiful headstones.